Thing. Introduce yourself uh, to, all, to all your fans out there, all Petch. All my fans, yeah. Uh, Steve Petcher, director of Missouri Girls for Scott Gallagher. And and not to uh, neglect him, we also have Scotty McDaniel. Scott McDaniel, director there we of are. for Missouri Girls. Uh, let, let, we're going to talk about girls soccer here. And uh, first, basic background, we just started the new uh, age group category stuff within the... Uh, within league play. How's that gone for you guys? Anything uh, stand out for you in terms of the transition? Well, yeah, for the club, um, we've done a really good job of educating the parents and the players uh, over the last 12 months. Once we heard it, it was coming out, um, we knew we needed to get ahead of it, so we did. Uh, we ended up with about 85% of our teams are going to birth year this, this year. Uh, I would assume it will be 100% in the 2017-18 season. That's a significant higher significantly higher number than you anticipated uh, the club make club teams making the transition yeah we really thought going into this when we first started the conversations that we might be at around the 35 percent 40 percent but uh, i think because we educated people so much uh, they weren't afraid of it and uh, now we're sitting at about 85 percent gotcha the uh you guys have a pretty large number of teams playing in Slice again this year. Yes, we do. Um, we actually took some of our top teams, even at a, what is now U11, U12, which is the 05, 06s, and uh, put them in the Slice, which we hadn't had in the past. Okay. And MRL, what's, what kind of participation level do you anticipate in MRL this year? Yeah, well, all our premier teams will be playing in the MRL from the 05. O threes on up. They all uh, they, got. They don't have a O fours or U thirteens, mm-hmm. uh, and they don't have a U thirteen anymore. So we're starting it at O three on up. Uh, Sterling Westcott runs that program for us, and all those teams will be playing in MRL. Okay, so well, you have to be qualified to get into MRL. So you've got a tier of teams that. Uh, what do you call them here? It's not the elite. It's, it's the premier. the premier, premier team. Yeah. So if you're a premier team. You're probably playing MRL, I can see. Okay. Well, and then the elite teams play ECNL. They all play in the elite club national league, ECNL. uh, And that's from 03s on up. And then the 04s would be considered pre-ECNL, and they play Slice, and then they'll play in a couple of junior ECNL. Okay. One of the... uh, one of the things going on in the marketplace as well then is the U.S. Girls Academy program, and there's been 60 plus teams announced uh, participating, include including some key ECNL players like Eclipse, who we see, and Vardar. We talked about the Hawks. What uh, what are the plans for Gallagher with regards to the, the Girls Academy program? Our plan is to stick with the ECNL. Um... You know, uh, I think Scotty. You know, we were talking earlier that you know they've been loyal to us. We're going to be loyal to them, and you know the league is still the best league in the country. Uh, even though the academy doesn't come in until 2017-18 season, the application deadline has passed. They've accepted the clubs they're going to accept for that year. Uh, so, a, it's already passed the, the deadline to apply for that for that year, the first season, and. Uh, B, we weren't considering it anyway. We're okay. going to stay with the ECNL. And so you didn't even apply no, didn't for the apply. opportunity to refuse the opportunity would garble my words we, here. but We didn't give them a chance for them to turn us down. To, <laughs> or, uh, or to accept or their accept invitation, or either, accept either or in that Which case. I think they, I'm pretty sure they would have accepted us if mm-hmm. we applied, but we just don't feel the need, need at this point. Okay, so we can expect that... Uh, all those talented girls you have playing on the ECNL side will get to continue seeing them play in high school ball. Yes. And that's your plan going forward. That's our plan going forward. Well, appreciate your taking the time to give me the update on what's going on here. Thanks, Patch. No problem. Thank you.